When a husband and wife apply Bible principles, their marriage endures and is successful. And we'll see that in our new music video. You're the one, the only one for me. You're my love, my one and only. Your qualities, your faith, they bring me such the Let's just say it, shall we? Jehovah's Witness love songs really, really suck. I mean, what was that? I guess I'm sort of immune to the cringe at this point. Almost every JW Broadcasting episode, we get subjected to these cringe-worthy monstrosities towards the end. Music videos that Jehovah's Witnesses are apparently supposed to not just look forward to, but play in their homes? <laughs> I mean, you tell me, Jehovah's Witnesses who are tuning in, what do you do with this? I mean, are you seriously, as a Jehovah's Witness married couple, supposed to put this on in the evening uh, just to spice things up a bit? <laughs> are you really going to be getting down to uh, this sort of thing? This for me, would be a mood killer more than anything. <laughs> because I'd just be in stitches, to be honest. I'd be too busy laughing to be thinking about um, anything romantic. Of course, this isn't the first time Jehovah's Witnesses have attempted to craft a love song. It's simple, so easy, and it's something we know with a threefold chord. Love will grow with Jehovah to guide us in all that we do. How I love to be truly in love with someone like you. Someone like you. Again, you tell me, Jehovah's Witness couples who are watching this, can you get down to this sort of thing? I really struggle to imagine it, quite frankly. It seems to me that the whole concept of romance, of romantic music in particular, got stuck somewhere between the 50s and the 70s. This sort of stuff that we've heard today was more, I would say, 50s, 60s. <laughs> the one we've just heard, the example I've just shown you, was more, I guess, 70s Barry White-ish. That's the sort of love song that Jehovah's Witnesses, provided, of course, there's a theocratic spin and Jehovah features prominently in the lyrics. That's the sort of genre that Jehovah's Witnesses or Jehovah's Witness couples, so long as they're heterosexual couples, we've learned in this episode, that's the sort of stuff they should be getting down to. 